What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Most Bowling and ah, I feel so energized. I got to sleep. Yesterday we finished off our 24 hour stream on Twitch and besides that I was up for like 30 plus hours. I was up for I think about 36 after the All Star like events were done and all that and then I finally fell asleep. If you guys don't know, we have new packs in the game and the servers have been bugging for me. They have not been working whatsoever. So we have these new All-Star Moments packs. They have four players in them so far. The winner of the World vs. USA MVP, which is Kyle Kuzma, he got a pink diamond. Jason Tatum got his own diamond for winning the skills challenge. My man Diallo won the dunk contest after dunking over Shaq and putting his whole arm in the rim. If you guys didn't watch these, they were pretty fun, they were cool. I watched the dunk contest even though I didn't think it would be all that, but I watched it anyway, it was pretty cool. And my boy Joe Harris, my man, the guy that plays on my Brooklyn Nets, came out to play. I did not think he was gonna outshoot this kid Steph Curry, but he did, he did his job, and he won. He was on fuego, he really was on fire. I love every second of it. Now these packs say they expire in two days. Some of these players say different things, like Kyle Kuzma says he expires tomorrow around this time. Jason Tatum says about nine days, which makes no sense. These guys say five. I don't really know. All I know is that today they will be adding the winner of the MVP, and that card might be great. Who knows who's going to win? It could be like Paul George, LeBron, Giannis, Harden. It could really be anybody. Westbrook. Who do you guys think is going to win? Comment that down below. And I know why you guys are here. To see how to make MT the best ways and methods to do so. And just for good luck, let's open a pack. These servers are so bad. I don't think I'm actually going to make this video long. I'm going to try to use other methods to do so. And what? Bro, that was honestly the first pack I opened since they dropped anything but the Kuzmas I would appreciate and love a Jason Tatum Jason Tatum would be amazing because he goes for the most I am planning to sell him right away whoever it is because I know people are gonna open more packs I know people are gonna be opening packs after the MVP comes out and we got Jason Tatum on our one and only single that is absolutely amazing. I cannot be more happy, blessed. You guys want gameplay, let me know. I have some great gameplay idea for you guys. So hopefully we could set that up. But oh my god, really, literally, this is the only BC pack I've opened since these new cards have been added. Jason, Jason, Jason. Jason, Jason, Jason. Welcome to the squad, man. I'm not even going to open another one. I'm not touching anything. I opened one. I'll take that any day. Let's see how much it goes for. But just so you guys know, leave me a thumbs up right now. It'll give you the best luck available. I had bad luck opening Kobe packs. I've had bad luck opening a lot of packs, but this was good luck right here. And I don't know if he's going to sell for over 100. And there's a lot of them up. And four hours from now, his price will drop, in my opinion. I am telling you guys this right now. Are any of them actually selling for 100 by now? And no, but I am going to put mine up for 100k. Hopefully, somebody bids on it. The All Star game should end in exactly four hours. So I'm going to put it up for four hours and see what happens. Hopefully, people do not realize that packs prices are going to go up. Maybe someone will bid on it. I'm going to be upset if no one bids on him at all. And I don't even get 100k that I could get if I just put him on buy now. But I'll put them up for 100 and see what happens. So y'all know the first method. Y'all already know. I always tell you guys, this is it right here. This is it. Triple threat. I've been lagging like crazy. I don't know what has been going up the past day or two. I've been having the craziest. One, I would say I've been having the craziest luck with like diamonds on my boards. I've been getting a lot of them. I think I have seven of them loaded, ready to go. I literally got diamonds and coach packs like for days. I'm getting rid of all the bronze, maybe some of the silvers, and I'm going to do a little pack opening. But you guys already know I always say triple threat is the way. This week, they added two players on the boards for triple threat. They had a Russell Westbrook diamond, who wasn't the best card. But at the end of the day, he was a free card. And look, oh man, can I snipe this? 25k? I have successfully bid. Is he going for more than that? I don't know. I honestly do not know. I hope he wasn't going for more than that. But I'm gonna get that one for 25 right there. And let's let's actually see. Is he going? Oh man, actually that was a really bad bid. And there you go. You see that I actually lost MT for not checking. The card was going for a lot less. I could have bought him for 20k easily. I messed up there, but it is what it is. I'll take it. And as you guys see right there, the card was going for like 5k cheaper. So I lost out on 5k. It is what it is. I'm not too upset. So this card you could have got for free if you were playing triple threat. There was also a Yao Ming on the board for a little bit. I actually got one. And I saw four of them on my board. So I had chances to get three other ones. Now Yao's price dropped about this since he's been on boards and stuff. But if I would have pulled the other two or three of them actually, I would have had like 300k plus in my account. Triple Threat Online is a blessing. Make sure you guys are playing it. If you guys want tips on how to win, 
I have one video down below. It's helped a lot of people. A lot of people have been telling me it's been helping. I'm trying to make a new one soon for like defensive purposes and stuff like that. So be on the lookout. I will have that for you this week for sure. Now we also got a new moments locker code for the all-star packs and oof. So we got a lot of great things on this. You actually have the card six times. Well, the six cards, well, packs. You're actually getting a pack. It's not like you're getting the card. But you have six of the packs here on the board and four 10 token spots. So I don't care what I get, honestly. The tokens would be probably be a better, safer spot. I kind of dropped these randomly because at the end of the day, I have faith that I'll get what I get. And it is what it is. And the packs, probably I'm not going to get anything good. But I'll take it. I'll take it. If get a pack right here, let me know if you guys got anything good from this. I would actually really like kind of want to know. We've got some other locker codes. I'll put them up on the screen right now as I scroll through this. So this was the Chinese New Year code. But you were actually getting the high voltage players from them. I got the pack instead of the tokens. And my players, I actually got like a card that was like 700 MT. And we had those as well as the cat pack. And right now I am opening my reward pack. And we've gotten nothing from that. It's okay. I knew I knew I wasn't going to get anything from that. I couldn't get that. And the Jason Tatum that I just pulled, it wouldn't have worked out well. But you see, this is how you make free MT. Literally free MT. 550, I'll take that. No problemo. The servers are really, really slow for me. I don't know if it's just me or for you guys too. So let's try to make this video kind of different. I'm sorry about that. I cannot continue playing like this. But yeah, guys, I'm back. So no webcam for this one. You guys already know that I get so many basically badges from just playing triple threat online from opening packs stuff like that and i stack them in packs of 20 you guys see that they come in stacks of 20 sometimes when they're stacked up like this i could drop them in here and i could sell them as a stack of 20 or i can quick sell them as a stack of 20 so that's pretty cool the thing is you don't always want to sell them for a stack of 20 because they do actually go for a little less not everyone knows that they're stacks of 20 people think you're trying to sell one for so much but yeah so i utilize this so much that's why i preach it i've been preaching it the last two or three like mt method videos just because i could show you guys that you guys can snipe like this and basically utilize this for quick selling so now real quick like lab city finisher for example i know that each one sells for 350 now 350 with the tax comes out to about 315 after after tax for example so i did 315 times 20 i found out that that would sell for 6.3k so i'd get 6300 mt if i sell all of these individually so now this is cool you want to make the most mt possible but i don't have spots to sell all 20 of them individually so for me right now in my head i'm like nah this would only be an 800 difference let me quick sell it real quick and make my mt that way now you would do this with every badge for example you'd look up to see how much every badge goes for so right now i know post spin technician would also be the same thing i'm better off quick selling than doing it individually same thing with pick and pop so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that and just basically save my time save my auctions because auctions are something that's very like limited very limited you don't have a lot of space to put your auctions for sure now, i save my contracts for rainy days i have a lot of these i've been doing stacks of contracts for a long time i know a lot of people have been doing that it gets you guys quick mt it's not a lot it's only maybe like two to five k that you're doing per stack but at the end of the day you are getting like some MT that you didn't have. So it does help you out throughout the long run. You know that I've showed you guys that I've sold some contracts for like 700, 800, 900 when there's no packs out. Now with other badges, you look and you're like, oh, mathematically, even though I would get 6K for this one, even though I'd get 6K for this one, it's not worth it. I'm better off auctioning them out one by one and selling them for the least. So for me to check that is I'd go in here and I'd see how much each one goes for. So 300, 350 around there, you're better off quick selling. But I see that these just went up meaning that people can buy these for way more so 400 i still see that they just came up and i know that packs are coming out and all this and that so i could save these for a rainy day i could save them for later so the way that i really made a lot of my mt this week especially as servers were really bad is i was bidding on stuff so i did this with players and stuff like that i'm gonna show you guys more next week because servers were down they were really bad this week so i'm gonna show you guys but right now i see that the bucks playbook the cheapest i see up is 9k which is crazy because these were 10k like a week ago but i bid on it for five as you saw there and now i want it and it says i got the card right there plus 950 on the side so what that means is now i'm gonna redeem it to my auction i'm gonna get my 950 back meaning that i only spend 4050 mt on this basically playbook and now i'm gonna go ahead and try to put it up i'm gonna put it up for a little less usually i would put it up for 8.95 so i'm the cheapest on the market so when somebody goes to buy they see mine's the cheapest they will buy it 100 percent or usually that's what usually happens and as soon as i did that i put it up for less than that because i had one up for 8.95 i saw that my 8.95 actually sold instantly so now i have one up for 8.85 i'm pretty confident that i'm gonna sell that without a problem now, i always tell you guys that you can make mt off the little things like your 
coaches, your playbooks, and just little things like that. You could do it off jerseys. You don't really need to do what everyone else is doing. Shoes, this is what I'm gonna show you guys with your shoes. I go diamond, Nike, and I scroll through, and you catch the ones at the end, the ones that are about to end. Usually that's where you just bid on something and get it pretty cheap. That's always a really good method. Now, I'm sure you guys don't know the price, and this works differently for every shoe. So what I do is Nike 20K, I go all the way to the end, and basically I scroll through to kind of get the idea of what prices are. So when I'm trying to buy them or basically snipe them at that case, because you're trying to snipe them, because shoes work differently. There's so many shoes you'd have to scroll forever. Here, I'm gonna scroll through to the end, and I see that the cheapest PG ones are 60K. That's what I see. I'm still going all the way to four, and I see one for 50. 50K, that's kind of a profit right there. If I buy this for 50K, I do the math quickly in my head, 60K, after tax i'm gonna get 54 so that's 4k mt profit and i'm thinking do i do it do i not and i'm gonna show you guys how to do it so i'm gonna buy it buy it right there for 50 you see that the servers are so glitched it takes me forever to buy them and that's why this video sucks i'm really really sorry for that and whoever sniped these basically if you're putting these on that's a really good deal you basically got them for 8k cheaper than the usual and if you're actually gonna try to sell them later you can do it like i showed you guys there now i'm gonna put these up for 59 and we're gonna go ahead and see if these actually sold just like that both the bucks playbook and these have sold very very cheap i will show you guys way more methods next week i'm sorry the servers were glitchy and Enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, thank you guys for all the love. I'm gonna like Kemba do this one and I'll see y'all later. It's Kemba Walker, thank you for watching Balls Ball.